So I try to highlight here the images that compose what we call time travel technology. It's an underlying narrative that you will see as a design. We observe through the Back to the Future perspective where you see the twin pine mountains and then you see that's a pattern of design, right? That you can see in language. And as you can see, it's a visual language. First thing we see, the stair, two eyes looking through, the hand, right? He's behind bars. <laughs> Initially, we say, why language explains more than looking for symbolism? Because this movie is undeniably put together to mean two meanings superimposed that will result in a joke because it's not what we expected. So you see a metaphorical relation of image, like prison being really not a prison, but... The train station. So you see there is a... Uh, metaphorical level. So what we're going to look is through the language perspective. We we'll see how the images, called the recurring images, they are templates. They express themselves metaphorically through other types of images. I said he is doing the stare. He's wearing glasses. He's under the capital B. He's lined up with capital B. And the word room is here. It doesn't line up with his uh, eye level here, but vertically. The twins, right? <laughs> Apparently, they will use a lot of twin images. You can see in the numbers, the twins. Now we say the twin mountains. That's uh, in language here. Mountain, mountain. These are twin mountains. And it starts with uh, two words with capital M, highlighting the twin mountains. And it ends with a word with double O's, like good. They highlight these two images, the stair and the twin mountains. So here is where the... A depiction of the time travel dimension will happen in a choice. They usually, they'll, they'll be very literally shown later, but right now it's designed, the underlying design of the entire movie to the point that we have seen. So what you're going to see now is the first uh, depiction highlighting a choice. They do as a bifurcation, so that is a choice. So there's the AJ there, so we, we say it's the twins in the mountain, H and A, that we have been pointing out. I could say, we say the double eyes. I know I'll get nothing, but good news from you. You see, double O's in the word, double O's at the end of it, at the sentence too. So that, I assume, we categorize in our stare, twin mountains. We just categorize and to understand, to visualize the patterns. The stare. The, the word ice usually is associated, I have pointed out already. It's associated, say, the stair, glasses, ice, the wheels. There's always a horse. And he's picking up the wrong choice. And if you see, he went through the pose. That is still, you won't see as clear as when we show he altering time. So that's when you say it's a highlight of the concept time travel. So so you can say that's a mountain, right? But that's also what well, it's very common, the eye. It's to us the eye, like this, right? The way they are, is the same as the mountain. The mountain is the most pervasive, is the template. The, the eye, almost like a twin incarnation of the mountain. It's just the same, it's a metaphoric expression. You say the eye, it, the mountain as an individual. So they're basically the same, right? Now, there is a concept that co is going to happen in this scene. You can see the two coats, right? So they're going to do the twin mountains. The joke, the gag will center around these twin mountains. And because this is comedy, they'll always portray it in funny ways. And that's when you see that they're turning the time travel technology with the twin mountains into a joke. Uh, they highlight with the use of doors. Uh, you can see the twin mountains, how they are funny, metaphorically expressed as two guys hanging in and hiding in their coat. So this is not subliminal. They actually made a point of highlighting the image there. But we're not seeing just the random, we're seeing the construct. And the construct here is the twin mountains. 